In the previous video, we were dealing with tariffs in partial equilibrium model. Now, we're going to go back for just a little to general equilibrium model and we're going to see uh, the effects of tariffs in this uh, uh, in, the, in the now classical model of trade that we've introduced uh, in, 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 uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the probably like 15 or, or, or 17 videos uh, that, we, uh, uh, that we went through. Okay, so look, let's remind ourselves a couple of things. First, the equilibrium condition, let's go, not go to outer key, let's go right to trade equilibrium, was that if we have free trade equilibrium, the condition is that marginal rate of substitution with trade must be equal to the price of merchandise to price of food ratio and this must be equal to marginal rate of transformation also in trading equilibrium. Okay, so now, uh, now we need to introduce a tariff into our general uh, equilibrium model. So now we're going to have equilibrium with uh, with tariff on manufacturers. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. Look, now this price ratio will change. So we will have, now we will have a different condition. We will have the marginal rate of substitution under tariff has to be equal to price of manufacturers times one plus T, where T denotes at valorant tariff, of course divided by price of food. And this must be equal to marginal rate of transformation under tariff. Okay, and look, we can right away see that all of this, all of these three categories which are equal to each other, must be uh, uh, I'm sorry, must be bigger than price of manufacturers to price of food ratio. Why? Look, because we are multiplying PM by 1 plus T, assuming that T is not equal to zero because we are introducing some tariff, this price ratio must be smaller than this one. Okay, so let's illustrate what has just happened after the introduction of the tariff into the graph we were we are using. But look, not to complicate things, we're just, for, from now on, we're just going to use one country. With one country, the graphs are already very hard to draw, and so let's not complicate our lives even more. So, and just use one country. Okay, so here we have manufacturers, and here we have food. Look, let's just say that we are considering a country uh, that is labor abundant, so it produces foods uh, and export it, so it specializes in the production of food and it exports food. So how would equilibrium for this country look like? Well, first we need to have some production possibility frontier. Then we need to have some uh, price of manufacturers
So price of food ratio, so here we have this Pn over Pf. And finally, to get a uh, uh, to obtain a trading equilibrium, the last thing we need to have, of course, here we equalized uh, the ratio with marginal rate of transformation. Now we need to uh, uh, equalize it with marginal rate of substitution. Let's just say that it happens somewhere over here. Okay. Hopefully, I'm gonna draw a very nice indifference curve. Oh works and let's call it U trade. Okay, now if we are introducing a tariff, two things, uh, 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 first thing that is going to happen, okay, is that price of manufacturers to price of food ratio should go up. So look, in our model, because uh, it means that this line is going to uh, to become steeper. Let's make it even a little steeper to see the effect quite well. Okay, and here what we have. Here what we have is a PM times 1 plus T divided by PF. Okay, look, right away we see that our economy here is producing now more food than before. But now we would also like to have, we would also like to know what is the uh, uh, what is the consumption in this economy? We need to equalize it with a marginal rate of transformation. And look, because of the introduction of the tariff, it does we it, it is not enough to have just one line. Uh, we need to draw another one. Consumption under free trade. So this is domestic consumption without without tariff. Oh gee. <coughs> Sorry. Oh. 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 Now knowing those two points. We can actually find what is a, 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 what is the trade triangle. So what are the exports and what are the imports? And look, 
unlike before, I'm not going to draw it over here, but I'm going to draw it over here. It doesn't really make a difference, right? But because this is a right angle triangle, uh, but it will be better to see what has happened in the in our uh, economy. Okay, so look. I need to draw this line here, this line here, and look. This tri this triangle is showing us trade flows. So what we see over here is imports. Uh, here we have. Uh, here we will have uh, imports. of food uh, without tariff over here it looks it makes perfect sense but okay, okay and here we will have exports export uh, of merch Manufacturers. Here we will have export of food uh, without tariff. Oh, and look, it makes perfect sense. We produce this much, this much manufacturers, but we consume this much manufacturers, right? So it means that this part must be imported manufacturers. Okay, over here, over here, again, we saw that we are producing this much food, but we consume only this much food, which means that this needs to be our export, uh, export of food. Now, let's see what has happened after we've introduced uh, after we've introduced uh, a tariff, okay. And, okay. Th this triangle I'm gonna draw normal. Okay, here is our production point after tariff, right? So here we have production tariff. So this is a production point. So this is domestic production with tariff. Okay. And finally, this point over here is C uh, tariff. So this is consumption, domestic consumption. Consumption with tariff. Okay, so now we are ready to draw a triangle. And what do we see? Look, we clearly see that the export of food has declined and we also see that imports of, manuf of manufacturers also decline. Reduction of the tariff ended up at new different indifference curve, and this indifference curve is clearly worse than the previous one. So, what is the 
Where is this consequence coming from? Look, it's coming from less trade. We are, uh, we are now, we've declined production of food, right? Uh, in which we had a comparative advantage because our country uh, because our country is labor abundant and we started producing more manufacturers in which we had company disadvantage like because production of manufacturers is capital intensive but production of food is labor intensive so as you see even on this graph we can clearly see that the uh, that the uh, introduction of the tariff has been uh, uh, has decreased welfare in the country. Okay, but look, in here you can all already see that even with one country, this graph is getting very very messy very very fast. So. In the next video, actually, we're going to introduce a new, uh, a, a new tool uh, called the offer curve, and the offer curve uh, will allow us to show the effects of tariff, even those positive effects uh, that can take place for big countries with way more ease and without you know all this uh, all this mess that we can see uh, in this graph okay so see you in the next video